Happy Face Palm. Ah, fuck. Face Palm Wednesday. Uh, Rob really, really fucked up Wednesday. I don't know. We'll call it whatever. Welcome to Why Would You Put That on the Internet, the web series where you send me ridiculous shit and then I put it into a video. That's how we'll run it this time. So it's been a while. We'll call this season four, right? Because I think season three had like, what, two episodes? Rob's on the ball. He's been on the ball lately. You see the whole after the apocalypse, this whole dip and just, you know, we're all fucked up. But we're trying to get back on the saddle here. We really are. I got an episode of Twisted Tens coming up and all that. Oh God, oh, you're gonna cream your Spanx. Let's jump right into this episode like we never missed a beat and forgive my voice. It's a little fucked up. This is actually the best it's been in a while because I got the flu. I had the flu. Yeah, for about a week and a half, two weeks. It's been shit. It's been absolute shit. So anyway, let's begin. Personally, one thing that makes me pretty sick is when people worship other people. I don't like it. I don't like people worship me. That's weird. That, why? But, you know, I mean, I understand, I guess, kind of, but nothing really irritates me more than the whole Beyonce thing. How everyone's like, oh my God, Queen, Queen Bee. Like, it's like, Jesus Christ, she's not human anymore. She hasn't been human for a long time. She's a goddess. And there's a whole bunch of people like, yes, damn right, Rob, she is. Eh. Well, maybe this might change your mind, you sicko. Can't wait till Jay-Z and Beyonce get arrested for eating children. And then someone asks, eating children? And they reply, yeah, satanic rituals. Look who you've been worshiping. While you've been worshiping Beyonce, she's been worshiping Satan and eating kids with her weird ass looking husband guy, Jay-Z, right? Who will hop on other musicians' songs and they're talking about some really deep shit and then he jumps in and it's all about his money and his lady money. I don't know, I just don't get why that happens. Personally, I'd ask Satan myself because he's probably getting sick of him a little bit too. I think he's a little sick of him. I think he is. <sighs> There's only one way to stop fascism, people. The only way we can stop fascism is if the police are allowed to arrest people for what they say and think. You know, I, that is such a common mindset in 2019. It's been for a while that it's just so above and beyond to me. The fact that, you know, macing people and assaulting people and for what they might be wearing or what they say or what they assume they think. Um, yeah, that's, it's pretty, pretty fucked up, honestly. This guy is, uh, well, let's just say he should be probably on an FBI watch list. That's all I'm saying. No fly list. You ain't going anywhere unless it's out of this country somewhere else, it's fine. But I uh, apologize to everyone else in other countries. Uh, we'll send them somewhere that, you know, there's just, there's, there's no one else <laughs> that should help and no animals either, Jesus. Fuck America. You can't get anything done unless you pay thousands of dollars. You can't find work to make the thousands of dollars to pay their prices. And if you try, then everything stops you. Nothing goes right. You try to be a good father when you have no idea how and you get shit on for it. Your kid won't talk to you and you open up to anyone. Even if you're dumb enough to think they cared or understood, then they just stomp on your feelings. So fuck this whole country. We should blow up this whole fucking planet. Humans are a plague and we all deserve death. So fuck this place. Save the universe. We haven't fucked it up yet. And kill everyone. I'm going first. <clears throat> Starting to understand why your child will not talk to you at all. Wow. That legit watch list. <laughs> FBI, Fibby, if you're watching, Fibbies, uh, old Fibby, uh, if you're watching, please put this guy in a watch list. Just contact me and I will send you his name uncensored so you can just, you can get on that because 
This sounds like a shooter. This sounds like a shooter situation. This is this is gonna be on the news and they're gonna be like, these are some of the things he said that were really fucked up and scary and no one paid any attention to him, except for Rob Gavigan. That's my new name, by the way, if you haven't seen that. Yeah, so what's really, like how, how could anyone have known? We just didn't, we just didn't know, we just didn't pay attention. Well, Big Bad Daddy Rob's telling you, Watch list, no guns. I feel he has a bunch of them. Let's get them out of there. Get them out of there. Seriously, I'm not usually one for that type of thing. But this is freaky. Kind of scary. Just saying. Calling it now. Don't blame me if it happens. And I'm not involved. God, if it happens, I'm not involved. Please. Please. <laughs> so this person's angry, but it takes a little bit of a watery twist a little later on. You'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> You're nothing but a motherfucking slutty bitchy asshole. So if I were stay away from me and my friends and I dare you to suspend me and on Twitter and watch how I kill you with my ex-husband and don't even fucking play dumb because I know what you and Neptune, Neptune? Watery twist. Neptune, really? Someone in your the whole circle's name is Neptune. Huh. <sighs> I know what you and Neptune did, so do it. Dot, dot, dot. And I'll torment everyone you love, and I'll pay a terrorist to kill you three. Dot, dot, dot. Understood. Dot, dot. You don't know me very well to be on my dark side, bitch. <laughs> so about that watch list. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Can you name a country without the letter A in its name? <laughs> You'd think so, but uh, there's a lot of people who seem to struggle. Virginia, Europe. London, Europe. Europe, Europe. Hungary. Ah, eh, you cheated. You cheated. You misspelled it. You, you took out the A that was supposed to be in there. Europe, Africa, <sighs> Tibet. Hong Kong, London, Ohio, my country, England, and capitalize the A, fucked up the spelling, fuck, Mississippi, Texas, Illinois, Kansas, Florida, those are states and over half the ones you just gave have A's in them, holy shit, New York, one word, Tokyo, Mississippi, Denmark, Nigeria. Wow. You learn something new every time you log on to this wonderful thing we call the internet. Am I right? I'm so fucking right. Europe. Best country without an A in the name. Hands down. Europe. Best country. I'm going to give it the best country award without an A in its name. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh my God. This is amazing. This is so good. <clears throat> Still a little sick. So. Do you ever need to be healed? Well, this probably isn't going to do shit except make you feel a little funky. <laughs> it's a post from Pop Sugar, which is a terrible place, by the way. I uh, just felt you should know. Healing crystal dildos are here to make your vagina a magical place. And the person who posted it says, it's for healing purposes only. Listen, if you... I get a lot of people throw a lot of shit into crystal. Wow, I didn't even mean to like make a butt insert thing there. But a lot of people put a lot of shit in crystals. I get it, fine, whatever, do your thing. But dildos, d crystal d not really, not, I just, I will insert it into anyone who uh, offers to pay me for my time and uh, services rendered. I will do it. I will, I swear to God. You ever had a shit lord for a roommate? Well, this person has. Okay, my roommate really is a shit lord. Trigger warning, racism, colonialism, binary genders. Okay. 
So not only does she assign gender to her fish, but earlier today she set up Tibetan prayer flags in our dorm room. I was like, WTF? That is cultural appropriation and I told her so. She laughed it off and said it's no big deal because a lot of white people hang those flags around their homes. I said, no, it is a big deal and it is colonial for you to appropriate something that has significant meaning to Tibetans. She doesn't care. I don't feel safe around this white cis girl and I'm going to ask for a room swap. Hashtag cultural appropriation, hashtag white people, hashtag Tibetan. You know, uh, this is kind of just the, the, this is the whole theme of the world now. I feel you can't do jack shit. Newsflash, there's never been a single successful society that is developed that didn't have influence from other cultures. Everyone's cultures have mixed and blended and that's a beautiful fucking thing as long as it's not racist it's a beautiful thing i just felt you should know so any society that's closed off and and pretend oh jesus you know we've never been influenced by anyone else's culture but we're magically successful no no it just doesn't happen ever ever there's always going to be some white person coming in and fucking it up I know some vegan people, and you know what? They're amazing people. They're wonderful. I know a few of them. There's veganism, and then there's this level of it. Unfortunately, I didn't get to Maple Leaf today. I did have a thought cross my mind that I would like to share. Farmers that ship animals to slaughter should be loaded onto a semi with their family. We're going, it's going in a good direction when you hear that line isn't you? Uh, with their family. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Damn. When they reach the slaughter plant, they should be subjected to exactly what the animals go through. Beaten, washed. Washed doesn't sound that bad, does it? Stripped, gassed, hung upside down, and slaughtered. I don't think any employee that works at the plant would care what they kill as long as they can kill it. Just a thought. Here's my thought. <clears throat> I think they probably would care because that's considered murder. Murder. Also, when you're loading a farmer with his family, like his children, we're talking about little kids getting hung upside down, washed, and slaughtered. For some reason, I think it's you that's more fucked up than any meat eater I could possibly find. Unless Hitler ate me, then that's, he actually went through with, let's not go there, fuck. And if you don't think the Holocaust happened, holy fucking shit, you're a moron. If you don't know about the Holocaust, I, which I've heard a lot of people don't, holy shit, you're an idiot for somehow managing, you're like Mr. Magoo, except reverse. Like you have vision, and you st somehow fuck everything up. You miss all the important shit. <clears throat> that has nothing to do with this post, but I felt it was uh, important to say. So, thank you. If you needed a daily dose of cringe, here you go. Dicks are so cute, OMG, with that weird fucking face. When you hold one in your hand and it starts twitching, it's like it's nuzzling you. Oh, hide my face. Oh, jeez. Or when they perk up and look at you like, oh, whoa, nya. <laughs> oh my God. I'm sorry. I know it's, you know, a face, but it's just, sorry. Uh, oh, whoa. Oh, it's a joke. Colon 3C. Hee <laughs> hee. Penis coon is happy to see me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And the most adorable thing ever is when sperm sama comes out but they're really shy, so you have to work hard. <laughs> oh, Jesus. But when penis coon and sperm sama meet and they're blushing and all like, he 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 he, penis coon is so adorable. Uh, I don't want to ever read that again in my life, so we're just going to move on. <sighs> there are a lot of things that should be illegal, but aren't. And this is a damn crime.
plus size clothing should be illegal. You want to wear people clothes, then lose the weight, fatty. Until then, you can wear a tarp from the hardware store. I have no problem admitting that I hate fat people. If they just admitted they like food a little too much, that would be one thing. But they always try to spin it, so they're the victim. Nicole? <laughs> White women are a plague. Getting it out on the table now. Every white woman raises a detriment to society when they raise a son. Someone with the highest propensity to be a terrorist, rapist, racist, killer, and domestic violence all-star. Historically, every son you had should be sacrificed to the wolves, bitch. If you did that, then you wouldn't have fucking Twitter so to talk shit on. That's fucking sad, ain't it? <laughs> we really need this social media shit. <laughs> we really do. It's important that you vent your thoughts so I can make money off of you, hopefully, if I don't get demonetized, which I probably will. <laughs> <laughs> I figured if I bring Wild Jump Without on the internet back, we might as well do a little mini episode, a segment, if you will, of Rob's Rejects. <laughs> Welcome to Rob's Rejects, where we take a whole bunch of people who are just looking for love, and I pitch them to you, because maybe you're looking for love, too. What do you say? Let's start with the first one. Haha, <laughs> shall we? Ah! This guy sends a message. Do you are in need for an hearty anal destruction, friendo? Oh, clearly this guy just wants to be friends at first. Maybe see if something develops, like, into hearty anal destruction if that's your thing dial one now <coughs> oh this next one's uh just a just a just it's just a, a submission add me dot 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 cutty pie if you want someone who can't even spell the word cutie then you dial three on your keyboard right now and then a hashtag how's that feel you getting wet down there ah! you know you need someone who can compare you to a really hot celebrity i think that's what we all want in our lives don't we oh man so get ready for this snatch them up while you can people he sends two messages the first, add me in your friends list. I see your profile and I liked you so match. And then he sends another one. By the why, you are Kim Kardashian for me. I like you so match. Baby, if he's comparing you to Kim Kardashian, that is really, just don't wait. Jump on this by dialing 6969 onto your keypad rotary telephones right now and push it in the comments because everyone deserves to be a kim kardashian oh god kim kardashian's so hot oh, courtney's hotter <coughs> ladies if a phd doesn't make you a bit soaky i don't know what will this guy's name is Miles and he's 23. A little bit about him. I have my PhD in Snuggleology. <laughs> Swipe right if you are indeed ready for this jelly. Ooh, Snuggleology. The little bit of jelly on your toast. Get the fuck out of my way, microphone. Wish I didn't need you. Anyway, if you want some of that jelly and a little bit of Snuggleology, you hop on Miles. I'm sure he'll give you a real nice time. But it might be kind of sticky. So make sure to bring a paper towel that's slightly damp. Because that takes the jelly right off. It's great. Perfect. Works so good. <clears throat> this next guy is willing to admit something very private. Oh, isn't that a wonderful man? So here's a photo of this beautiful bastard and the most private thing i'm willing to admit he says i once ate the skin off the bottom of a guy's foot for five dollars i'll do anything for money won't we all though <laughs> won't we all if you've ever tuned into any of my live streams you know that i'm <laughs> foot skin is nothing <laughs> 
I have a paypal.me link in the description below if you'd like to donate to help keep my business running and keep my life uh, intact. Um, I'm not saying I'm going to commit suicide or suicide if, if you don't donate. I'm just saying it's there. Um, if you want, I'll uh, do a little dance for you. There, I did it. That'll be like 10 bucks to my paypal.me link below. And that concludes our submissions for Rob's Rejects. If you want the foot skin guy, just put hashtag foot skin right in the comments. Forgot to mention that. I think I forgot to put a number for the guy before him too, but who gives a fucking shit? It's all fake fucking no one. I'm not contacting these people. You're not contacting these people. We laugh at how bad they are. <laughs> who gives a shit, right? Who gives a shit, right? <laughs> right? That's it for this episode, everybody. Thank you for sticking with me through all this shit. My name changed and everything. If you don't know what that's about, video uploaded just previous to this one explains it. And um, yeah, if you have a phone that buzzes randomly while you're filming, if you have a submission that you think is ridiculous, you can post it on Instagram, tag me in it, Rob Gavigan. Or you can go to my Twitter and hashtag Rob Gavigan or hashtag WWYPTOTI, whatever the hell you want. And you uh, put in your little submission and I'll take it and I'll just stick it in a video if it's bad enough. And please subscribe to my channel if you want. It's up to you if you haven't already. But thank you again and bye. Do you grow hair on your body? Do you have a mouth? Does your body begin to smell after weeks of not bathing because you just no longer see any point in doing anything anymore and who you can impress, really? I mean, your pet fish won't even eat their food if you've touched it first. Well, this video sponsor, Dollar Shave Club, is for you. See, although your mom may call you a worthless loser and your cat tries to shit in your mouth while you're sleeping, you're worth looking and feeling your best. And Dollar Shave Club definitely has a starter kit to get you right in order. And any given kit is only $5 when you visit my link to dollarshaveclub.com slash robdyke, linked in the description below. You still have your classic shaving items like the sleek and sexy executive razor, super smooth shave butter, and a full cassette of razors. Don't worry, all that's still there. But you've also got shampoo, body cleanser, and a nice facial um, cleanser. Uh, but now, now you've also got one kick-ass oral. Okay, that's enough. Now you also have one kick-ass oral care kit, which includes a Superba toothbrush with Superba toothpaste, too, to keep your teeth looking mighty white and your breath smelling like a unicorn's ass, which, if you didn't know, smells amazing. And let me tell you, with Dollar Shave Club's $5 oral care kit, the brush's soft bristles are like an orgasm on a stick. Ladies, next time a man asks if you go downtown, you let him know Big Bad Daddy Rob said yeah on one sexy AF fuck toothbrush with some delicious pasty white that tastes right. The toothbrush has been carefully crafted not to fuck up your teeth or gums while also providing a next level of clean. I personally love it. Mm. And with Dollar Shave Club, you can get a new kit every month. So no more using the same razors until they're tearing off skin, which is perfect for a man's face and a lady's special place. If you shave there. No judgment. Works great anywhere else, too. And no more using the same toothbrush for three years, you sick bastards. E. coli wouldn't even brush its ass with your old toothbrush. Seriously, pull yourself together. Even the American Dental Association recommends changing your brush every three to four months, so you're going to be way ahead of the game with the oral care kit. All you need to do is go to dollarshaveclub.com slash robdyke linked in the description below and get your $5 starter kit. Whichever one you want is your choice, or you can grab them all, which is still a killer deal. So again, head to dollarshaveclub.com slash robdyke linked below and take yourself to the next level. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe now because you won't want to miss what's next. And I'll see you next time.